today uh, we're going to talk about the second lettered path of Malkuth. Now the lettered paths bind the awareness to Malkuth. Tav bound the awareness itself in every aspect of our physical bodies. Now we have Tzadi coming from Netzach into Malkuth. Now Tzadi means fish hook and you'll remember what I've said in the past about the fish imagery around the binding of the awareness into material manifestation. It's also called, it's also Aquarius, the water bearer. So, <clears throat> full symbolism here for the emotions. That's what is transmitted by Tzadi from Netzach, this realm of resonance, because that's what emotions are. Emotions are the result of resonating with other, okay? Now, emotions, they're sort of mysterious. Um, they connect with every aspect of our physical body. Every emotion elicits a physical response. Chemical, electrical, we feel emotions in our bodies. And this binds our awareness because they're fascinating. They affect us. We feel them, okay? They're not just mental things. They're physical things. They're astral things. They're rooted in significance. All emotions are about significance and our relationship with other. Now, emotions come in three basic categories. We have the emotions that are reactionary. You make me feel sad. You make me feel happy. They're a response to an outside impetus, okay? As we seek to resonate or not with other. A second class of emotions is what I call viral emotions. They're sort of emotions that float in the air. You know, we, we, we feel them because they are present. We can enter into a space and suddenly we get d depressed or anxious. Those are the viral emotions. The other emotions are the emotions that we build for ourselves, we're thinking about something that happened in the past and we get depressed or we get elated, okay? Those are the self-developed emotions. And in that category is a way of treating emotion where we take control, where we evoke emotions within ourselves intentionally. Now, uh, emotions are primarily unintentional. Very seldom we go through our life intentionally feeling an emotion. It just takes us over. Emotions, the arising of an emotion, is literally out of our control. It occurs at an unconscious level. We are affected. We have no control over that. The only thing we have control over is what we then do with that emotion. So, emotions come in two parts. The effect upon us and then what we do with that effect upon us. Do we amplify that emotion? Do we ignore that emotion? 
etc. Okay? So, fundamentally, we have no control over the arising of emotion. It takes over our being, our feelings, and our body, our physical body. We cannot consciously stop an emotion affecting us at a physical level. It's automatic. It always affects us. Again, what we have control over is what we do with the emotion after it has affected us. Now, <clears throat> every person coming into incarnation has a specific set of emotions that it can resonate with. Okay? A certain proclivity to certain emotions. <clears throat> Every one of us is different. There are archetypes of emotions, but we each experience those archetypes uniquely. Okay? We each have a, a unique experience of pleasure, of joy. It's still joy in each instance, but we each express it uniquely. And that is part of how it binds us, binds our awareness to our physical body. Because, again, it captures us. We are captivated by emotions. Okay? In the only place we experience emotions in this way is when we are incarnate. That is, again, part of what binds us to our incarnation is this opportunity to experience emotion especially the grand emotions, those are very captivating. So, we have three gates with Tzadi to begin with. There's the linear gate, a triangular gate, and a quadrangular gate. And of course, we'll start with the linear gate. And we start in Netzach, travel down the paths of Tzadi to Malkuth, and then back. Now, from this gate, we can learn all about our relationship with emotion, what emotions we are susceptible to and what we are not, how we experience them, what we can do with them, how creative can we be with them, etc. So we learn everything about emotion and how it binds us to our existence. Okay, the first triangular gate, gate 139, we start in Netzach, come down Sadi to Malkuth, up the path of Tav, the moon, to Yesod, and down the paths of Sagittarius, Samek, to Netzach, and then back around. Now, <clears throat> what this describes is how these emotions, this dynamic of emotion and its relationship to resonance, how this binds us, binds our awareness into the physical body. Okay? And by mastering this gate, we have power in this dynamic. We have power specifically over what we do with the emotion once it arises. Okay. Now the quadrangular gate. <clears throat> okay, we start in Netzach. We pass down this path of Tzadi to Malkuth, up the path of Tav, to Yesod, up the path of Libra, 
to Gadula and then down the path of Venus into Netzach and then back around. Okay. <clears throat> what this illustrates is the way in which emotion is designed to bring us closer to other. It's all about that urge to merge, okay? That is the function of emotion, is that resonance. That's the, the basis of emotion, is resonance with other. It's all about our interaction with other, okay? So, next time, we will progress with more of the gates of Tzadi. Till then, bye-bye.